Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. We've got not one, but two humble bundles today of interest to game developers, and they couldn't be more different, but they're also both kind of interesting. The first one is all about art. The second one is all about the Unity game engine. So without further ado, let us jump in and take a quick look at both bundles. The first one is the Learn to Create Game Art in Blender Software Bundle. Now, that title is a bit of a misnomer because there are a couple of subjects here beyond Blender. Not a lot, but there are a few extra topics here. So basically, this is about creating game development art. This one is from Game Dev TV, whose courses have been featured in the past. Their Unity training courses were in a previous Humble Bundle. As far as I know, all of this is brand new to Humble. If you do not know how Humble works, basically it's a collection of stuff. In this case, uh, game development courses and uh, they're organized into tiers. You buy a higher dollar value tier, you get all the stuff below it. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose, and thank you so much if you do, to help support Game From Scratch. So we're going to jump in and take a look at what the tiers are in this bundle, but first, let's take a quick look at the second bundle and then we'll come back to it. So the second one is learn to program by developing games with Unity by Pact. That is not a bit of a mouthful. This one is pretty straightforward. It's a collection of books from Pact Press. Pact is um, random. Uh, some of their books are quite good, like the one I wrote, <laughs> and some of them a little bit less so. But what I do like with this particular one, 2021, 2021, uh, 2020, 2021. So we're all looking pretty reasonably new content, which is good. So we'll get back to the book bundle in just a second. By the way, book and video. Uh, but first, let's get back to, uh, I think, what is the star of the show? The Game Dev TV bundle here. Uh, at the $1 tier, you get how to get a job in the Game Dev industry course, which, by the way, very much was part of the previous um, Game Dev TV Unity bundle. And Blender Environment Artists course. Um, then you jump up another tier. Again, you get all the lower level value stuff, but you're also getting the pixel art fundamentals course. If you're interested in anything, basically you could drill down here to figure out uh, what uh, software is being used, the details of it, etc. In this case, it's Libre Sprite or Ace Sprite uh, that is being used in this case. Uh, then we've got low poly landscapes, Blender bite sized course, low poly um, Blender bite sized, uh, low poly character, sorry, Blender bite sized course. And then uh, finally, at the uh, full tier, at $25, you USD, you are getting the complete Blender Creator course, the uh, Blender Character Creator course, the complete drawing course, uh, and the Blender VFX course. And then this one is brand new, I think literally launched today, the Blender Dragon Sculpting course. So if you want to use Blender for low polygon art, concept art, design work, sculpting, or visual effects, well, there's a little bit of something something here for everybody. Uh, you also notice there is one course specifically on drawing, one on pixel art. So it's not specific specifically just about Blender, uh, but for the most part, it is a Blender course set. Now, if you've never used Game Dev TV's courses before, you get a redemption key for their uh, courseware. Here you can see I've got a number of courses on their platform from previous bundles and, and working with them in the past. Uh, you can see that the courses we are dealing with here, so here, for example, is the pixel art one, broken down into a number of different video categories. The nice thing here is there are additional links and resources that you can uh, download. Uh, they make sense, links out to other uh, communities that might be of use to you and so on. Uh, for each one of the videos as you go through the course, so if you want to learn how to do dithering for sprites, uh, the video player is integrated in, you've got a uh, breakdown, you've got all of the various different files available, you've got the ability to ask questions. Uh, again, if there's additional info, it's here, and if there are additional resources, uh, they are available there. Uh, so let's go back, so okay, we're done this course. You're gonna see there is progress as you go through it, so if you start back into the course, uh, it will continue where you were from before. So we're gonna head on back over here. Uh, back to my home, I dare not roam. All right, so come down here. Uh, let's find the category here for, oops, I didn't want bundles, I wanted Blender. Blender, all right, here we go. Uh, so we've got, uh, this is one of the key courses in this one, um, the low poly courses and so on. So if you're walking through it, again, uh, you got a number of details on, uh, you know, the, the topic at hand broken down into categories. Um, and then each one, again, you go into it. If there are additional resources or materials available, they will be down here. And in these cases, there's not. A lot of times, the code it's more for when uh, the code is available, the project files, and so on. But in this case, you're dealing with mostly art uh, and so on. Uh, so that is the bundle right there, the Learn to Create Game Art in Blender Software bundle. 10 items, 25 bucks, a number of different courses in there. One thing I really like about Game Dev TV, first off, their, their training material is really high quality. I, I've had a number of questions from previous bundles in the past for other users, and I've asked them what they thought. 
and pretty much generally everyone likes Game Dev TV's content. I haven't heard a lot of negative out there. It's nice to see an art course out there. A lot of the stuff that we get, a lot of book bundles and so on, tend to be around the programming and the game engine side of things. Not as much for um, Blender and pixel art and that kind of stuff. So it's a unique course in that regard. The material, again, is generally of high quality. Uh, so uh, definitely an interesting um, courseware to set out. And the nice thing with this is since they're so comprehensive, you can find a lot of the same thing on uh, Blender. And if you're looking for like a different course, like something like um, Andrew's Blender Guru, uh, his uh, making a donut course, pretty universally praised. But you'll find a lot of the other stuff out there. It's just sort of mix and match. Whereas if you got something from like a training course that's well curated and put together, you don't have to kind of hunt around and search for the, the gems on Unity. Uh, sorry, on um, YouTube because there's a lot of crap out there too. Uh, so if you're interested in learning Blender or pixel art, could be a good pickup for you. And then back to the bundle from Packed Press. As I said, Packed's quality can be a little bit random. Um, they they cover topics that a lot of people may not otherwise cover, which is the nice thing about Pact. Their um, acquisition of authors and their editing process can sometimes leave a bit to be desired. So the quality of books is going to be highly random. So here what you got uh, at the $1 tier, you're getting uh, Unity Android 2021, build seven games with Unity and C Sharp, and learning C Sharp by developing games with Unity 2020. Um, we jump up a tier, you're getting augmented reality with Unity AR Foundation, heads-on reinforcement learning for games, uh, Unity 2020 mobile game development, uh, Unity Android build 3D endless runner hyper casual games. Again, that's a training course. Uh, that's a training course as well. So that's at eight or nine dollars US. So obviously the big bundle is right here, fifteen dollars US. That's where you're getting Unity game optimization, hands-on Unity game development, second edition, 2021 that version is, another training course, C Sharp and Unity by example, 20 mini game projects. We got one Blender book thrown in here because reasons. Uh, the Enterprise Augmented Reality Projects book, um, game development patterns with Unity 2021. That could be a very interesting read. Of, of all the books here, that's probably the one that intrigues me the most. I love design patterns in general. Um, then we got Unity 2020 by example, 2020 virtual reality products, the Unity 2021 cookbook. I do like cookbooks too, because they're more, I need to do X, how do I do it? Uh, so it's like 140 recipes of how to do X in Unity, which is always kind of useful. Uh, the shaders and effects cookbook, again, 2021 edition, which is quite nice. And the Uni uh, Unity certified programmer exam guide. Are they still doing their certifications? I thought they shut that down. Uh, anyways, uh, there would be a good overview of Unity in general, but obviously aimed towards their certification. I'm going to have to check that to see if they're still doing certification or not. And then, of course, uh, all the other stuff from the different tiers is available as well. So that is the, the two bundles today. Uh, the, this one, again, pretty straightforward. Learn to program uh, by developing games with Unity by Packed Press. Uh, it's just such a huge swath of books, even if half of them are crap. It's still an incredible deal if there's one gem in the mix. Again, the ones that I think I'm probably most interested in are this one, for sure, and probably the cookbook and the Shaders and Effects cookbook. Those, I, I do like cookbook style books. I find them the most useful to me because I've already learned how to do a lot of things and sometimes I just want like a reference. That's why cookbooks kind of shine. Uh, and then again, yeah, I just have a thing for design patterns. So that's interesting to me. I've never done any of their video courseware, so I can't really attest towards if it's good or not. But that is the one bundle. And the other bundle here is the Learn to Create Game Art in Blender by Game Dev TV. A number of Blender courses covering things from character design um, to VFX, to sculpting, to low polygon, to level creation, as well as a couple of other things such as pixel art and con um, and drawing. Uh, definitely an interesting package. And again, I do like Game Dev TV's content, but I leave it to you guys as well. What do you think of Game Dev TV's work? H uh, have you gone through? Did you get the Unity bundle perhaps on um, Humble in the past? Uh, if so, what do you think of Game Dev TV? Would you recommend them or not? Also, I'm always interested. What's your opinion of Pact? Uh, is your experience like me? Some of their books are really bad. Some of the books are quite good. It's kind of a luck of the draw thing. Uh, I'm curious. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.